Hi, this is Mark Morell for TuneBarn.com, and I'm here with Kevin McKeever, who's the Vice President of Marketing at Harmony Gold. Hello there. How are you all doing today? Doing good? <laughs> We're doing fine. Harmony Gold is, uh, as you know, is the uh, company behind Robotech, and we just saw the Robotech panel here at uh, New York Comic Con, and uh, we got a chance to find out some things about Robotech. And what is the first thing that you think somebody who would be looking for Robotech information would want to know? Well, first off, we have Robotech Love Live Alive currently in production over at Harmony Gold. It will be completed late this year with a, with a projected release date of 2013. Uh, we have Robotech Shadow Rising in active development at Harmony Gold. We also have the Robotech live action film set up over at Warner Brothers. Very good, very good. Um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you about uh, when it comes to Robotech is uh, Carl Masick, who brought uh, Robotech over from Japan back in 1985. Um, he is considered a pioneer for bringing anime, for Japanese anime, to the United States. Um, do you consider uh, other properties that, that were coming up around that same time as equally as important, or do you think that uh, Carl was really the visionary pioneer? What Carl did was he, he took anime and showed that you could make anime, make it mature, make it for adults, and make money. I mean, to be really honest with you, that's what he did. Now, there were other animes out at that time. Some of them are, you know, are, are still going strong today. But Carl really, with Robotech, helped spawn the modern-day anime industry that we see today. We see a lot more anime out now. That's because people saw, well, well Robotech did so well. In seen Hollywood, let's you on a dirty little secret, everyone loves to be second. So what happens is people said, well, if, if Robotech does well, I want to do well too. I'll do something like Robotech. So let's start bringing these shows over and adapt them more faithfully. Let's not dumb them down or kidify them for our younger audience. And we're seeing that now. And now we see the anime industry for the fandom. People know what anime is now. Where before in 1985, people didn't know what anime was. But Carl really built that modern day industry. Okay. Um, if someone was uh, coming to Robotech for the first time, as you saw that one lady in the panel, um, and they wanted to follow Robotech canon, you know, to the T, okay, where would they start and then what path would they follow? Well, I suggest that they go out and purchase the Robotech DVD box set from a &E Home Entertainment, which is now available on Amazon.com and places like Walmart. It's, uh, it's, I've seen it on sale at like $30 or $40 it's because it has all 85 episodes. It's a great way, if you're new to Robotech, a great way to start with the show because you can watch all the episodes. And, of course, there's Robotech on Netflix and Hulu and YouTube as well. Okay. Um, Robotech is coming out with Love Live Alive, right? Uh, can you tell us a little bit behind the story, or can you not tell us? Well, I can, I can simply say this. Robotech Love Live Alive is a sidequel to Robotech the Shadow... It's a sidequel to Robotech and ties directly in with Robotech the Shadow Chronicles. Okay. Thank you. Um, we also have a live-action movie that you were talking about in the panel, and as of right now, we only know it's in the, in the scripts. It's, it's developing a script. Who, do you have the script for writers? Do you have the names of the script writers? Um, you know, right now, right now we don't want to reveal too much about the script writers at the moment. Warner's is working on that right now as we speak, so uh, we're not, not, I'm not clear to really discuss that at the moment. There is also a, uh, a Robotech role-playing game, is there not? Yes. Can you describe a little bit about that? Well, Palladium Books has the rights to make the Robotech RPGs, and they're they're re-releasing the Macross. Uh, masters and new generation sagas. They're working on new Robotech role-playing games as well in the larger book format since that's what fans want. Oh, well, keeping on the book formats, you had mentioned some e-books, and they're written by whom? Uh, the e-books written by Jack McKinney are now available uh, as on ebook on iPad, Kindle. They're available on Amazon.com. You can download it for any of the tablet type of formats, and they're selling very well. They're a great way for fans, if they love the books, to get them on their on their digital wireless devices. Okay. And as far as Robotech, the, the animated series, where could we see that right now if we wanted to see it? Well, the original, the original series? The original series is available on YouTube, and it's available on Hulu for free, and legal, of course. And, of course, it's available on DVD from A&E Home Entertainment. And how about the Shadow Chronicles? Where is that available? Uh, Shadow Chronicles, currently we are working on distribution, we're getting distribution for that right now. The rights have, have expired and they've reverted back to Harmony Gold. Harmony Gold is currently working on a distribution deal for Shadow Chronicles. We should have some news available for that in early 2013. Okay, now I have a personal question. What's your favorite character and what's your favorite mech? 
My favorite character would be Angelo Dante from the Robotech, uh, the Masters, because you don't mess with Angelo Dante. That's that 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 that's why I like him. You don't mess with him. Uh, I would say the uh, my favorite mech. Ironically, it's very obscure. It's the Tokugawa class ship that John Carpenter piloted back to Earth in in the episode The Outsiders. Wow, that's awesome. All right, uh, is if there was a, a a question about Robotech, and I know you've gotten asked thousands of questions, and everybody you know wants to know everything there is to know about Robotech. If you wanted a question to be asked about Robotech, what would you want it to be? I just, uh, the question I want fans to ask about Robotech is what's ever on their mind. And let, let me explain why. Because I mentioned this during the panel, you know, fans have different knowledge levels of Robotech. And to me, there's no such thing as a stupid question. I mean, you know, I've, I've had fans ask me about the Dana Barbie dolls, which just do exist, by the way. I mean, it doesn't matter because, you know, because to that fan, that question's important. And to me, the best part is giving that fan the answer. And that's why I really love doing it. And that's why I, I, I love taking questions from fans. That's why I love doing these panels, because it's an opportunity for, for, for fans to, to, to ask questions and get information. Because remember, back in 1985 when Robotech came out, there was all this stuff going on and nobody knew anything, because there were no conventions as we saw today. There was no internet. I mean, think, think of the, you know, talk about the dark ages. I mean, there was no internet back then, so fans didn't know what was going on. They wouldn't find out weeks if not months if not years later of what what happened and so that's why i always tell fans you know, ask these questions it's why i do these panels you know it's why i give out prizes to, to encourage fans to ask questions to me there's to me a whatever your question is that's the good question that's the question i, I, I want to see because that's a question i can answer this is what i'm here for good well thank you for uh, joining toon barn with us mm -hmm. and uh have a an enjoyable rest of the new york comic-con I'd like to take a moment and thank you, tuned, everyone here at Toon Barn, for allowing me this opportunity to talk with you all. I'd also thank everyone here at the New York Comic Con who are putting on just a wonderful show. If you ever have a chance to come here to New York Comic Con, please, it's well worth the effort. This is their biggest show ever, and it's growing really well. Really well. It's a great show to take your whole family to. Thank you all. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a good day. All right. Thank you.